Hi, Mila. Sorry. I was planning to come home this weekend. I guess I can't make it after all. What? You can't come home again? I've been so busy with work that I haven't been able to take weekends off. Well, you said the same thing last week. Are you that busy? I'm really sorry. I was looking forward to seeing you this weekend. It's okay. It's work. We just got married and I've been working all weekend. I wish I could spend more time with you. So, can you come back next weekend? Uh, well... You don't think so, do you? Sorry. I promised to go on a trip with my friends next weekend. A friend? Yeah, a friend from college. Oh, your friend is a guy? Of course, it's a guy. Okay. We've been so busy, we haven't been able to see each other. We both happen to have the next weekend off, so... I thought we could go skiing and soak in a hot tub. Hmm. Uh, are you mad? I'm not mad at you. You're too busy to come home, but you can go on a trip with your friends. We've been talking about taking this trip for a long time. Besides, I need some time to enjoy and relax. That's right. I do feel sorry for you. I'll make time for you soon. I'll take you on a trip. No problem. Don't worry about it. It's important to spend some time with your friend too. Don't worry about me. Thank you. I'm having lunch with a co-worker right now. I gotta go. Yeah, I'll see you later. Hi, Riley. Can I ask you something? Hi, Mila. What's up? Max is going on a trip with his friend next weekend. Oh? A trip? Yeah. I would like to know who the friend he is going with. Not me. I know. I'm not accusing you of anything. Oh, okay. Max and I have only messaged each other about casual things. He asked to meet, but I've turned him down for whatever reason. I know you are not the one. Max says it's his guy friend, but I'm still suspicious. He never comes home because he's busy with work these days, but he's going on a trip with a friend. Hmm, it doesn't sound like they're just friends. Do you think there's more than you in his life? I'm sorry. I feel bad about that. I'm sorry too. I don't blame you. I was shocked when I found out Max was also dating you. But it was before we got married. You didn't know he was engaged to me, right? Well, he didn't tell me anything. I thought he was single. I should have been more cautious. He was nice and all, so... It's his fault, and you are the victim. In fact, I'm grateful to you. You are cooperating with my investigation now. Hearing you say that makes me feel better. And I'm really sorry. You don't have to apologize anymore. Thank you, Mila. I'll hire a private detective again. I will let you know more. Understood. Hi, Max. You're going on a trip today, right? Ah, Mila. I'm leaving now. It looks like there's an open-air hot tub, so I'm looking forward to it. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Will you be able to come home next week? Uh, I don't know. Not yet. Okay. Well, have fun on your trip. Hi, Riley. It looks like Max is cheating on me again. What? The private detective just told me so. He has another woman. That's not good news. The one he's traveling with this time is someone other than his guy friend. She's a girl in her 20s. They met at a bar near his office. I see. I can't believe he would cheat on me when we're newlyweds. I wasn't comfortable with him being away and going on an extended business trip, but... 
It's disgusting. I can't believe he's doing this again. I have no idea how many girlfriends he has. Don't say that. I'm so depressed about this. We don't need anyone else in this mess. Well, let's not think too much about it. Right now, our priority is to find a way to punish him. That's right. He cheated on you and me. He has to be punished thoroughly. Riley, is this a good time? I have something important to tell you. It's been a while. What's wrong? I'm really sorry, but will you break up with me? Huh? What's wrong? Suddenly? I'm getting married. Marrying to who? Actually, I'm in love with someone else. And she's pregnant. Pregnant? I guess I failed to use contraception. I tried to be careful, but... Okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. What does she do? What? She works part-time, but... How old is she? Uh, 20. That's very young. Oh, but it was just for fun. My true love is you. But if we have a baby, I have to take responsibility as a man. I see. I understand. You're breaking up with me then? If you have a baby, I don't have a choice. Thank you. Riley, find a good man and be happy. I'll do my best too. Yes, I wish you all the best. Mila, I just got messages from Max. Huh? What did he say? He said he was getting married and wanted me to break up with him. What? At first, I thought he was talking about you. If not me, then who is he going to marry? The girl he traveled with. She's pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah. Is that true? He said so, but... I don't believe it. Maybe he's making it up to break up with you without getting into trouble. Maybe he is, but either way, I wanted to get rid of Max as soon as possible. I agreed to break up, but... If his partner is really pregnant, I'm sure he'll contact me too. I'll drop you a line if that happens. Yeah, okay. Hi, Mila. I have something important to tell you. Hi, Max. You messaged me as soon as possible. Mmm, soon? No, it's nothing. What's up? This may come as a surprise, but I have a girlfriend. Okay. You're not surprised? I knew you were cheating on me. I've known for a while. What? I mean... You were busy all the time. After you went away for your long business trip, you rarely came home. And the fact that you went on vacation with your friends was suspicious. Well, if you knew about the affair, I don't blame you. I'll tell you straight out. The woman I'm having an affair with is pregnant. I need you to break up with me. Pregnant? Yeah, she's four months pregnant. Oh, What's she like? I met her near my office here. Don't get me wrong. At first, it was just for fun. Then, we got drunk and crossed the line, and it just went on and on and on. And the other day, she told me she was pregnant with my child. I see. I'm really sorry. You are the only one I love. But as the father of this baby, I have to take responsibility. I'm going to marry her, so please divorce me right now. Of course, I'll pay you alimony. Nope. I'm not getting a divorce. What? Why? Can you stop being a drama king? No, 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 no. I was cheating on you. And the woman I cheated with is pregnant. Can we still stay married? So what? 
It's up to you and me to decide if we want to divorce. Oh, no. Anyway, don't think you can just divorce because she's pregnant. Are you kidding me? I have to do something now. I'd pay alimony. Of course you'll pay alimony. But if you think you can just pay and be done with it, you're wrong. Please, I don't want her to be a single mother. She just turned 20 years old. She's a part-timer. I have to support her. I don't care about that. Mila. Well, but I don't want to live with you anymore. I'm going to terminate our apartment contract. I originally lived there when I was single. You're going to be working away anyway. What? Yeah, I don't mind if you terminate the contract. When I'm done working here, I'm going to move into an apartment with my girlfriend. Oh, I see. Hey, Mila. I know it was sudden, and I'm not saying it's right now, but I want you to divorce me as soon as possible. The baby is innocent. That's true. I'll think about it. Hi, Riley. Sure enough, I got a call from Max asking for a divorce. So it's true. His girlfriend is pregnant. Yeah, that's right. He's so stupid. I know. Can I call you later? I want to talk to you. Okay, sure. Mila, enough, okay? I've contacted you so many times and you ignored me. <laughs> It's about time you agreed to a divorce. Her belly is getting bigger and bigger. She wants to marry me as soon as possible, but I've been making her wait a month. If you're a woman, you know what I'm talking about. They say stress during pregnancy is bad. Please divorce me as soon as possible. Hi, Max. I sent you a letter the other day. Did you get it? What? I've decided on the amount of the alimony, so I wanted to let you know. If you pay me the alimony, I'll divorce you. Oh, really? Yay. You have to pay first, okay? Yes, yes. I know, I know. Well, that's a relief. I'm glad I can settle this before the baby is born. I'm so happy. I'm gonna be a daddy, too. I'm very excited to see my baby. I'm sorry, Mila. I'm happy, but you are not. I'll do my best, so you should find a new partner soon and be happy, too. It's good that you're trying your best, but... Are you sure about the baby? Huh? Are you sure you'll be a good daddy, even if the baby's not yours? Why? Well, if you don't care if you're not blood-related, I guess you can do whatever you want. Hey, what do you mean? Are you saying she's cheating on me? Max, I guess you haven't seen the letter I sent you. Huh? There are other documents in there besides the bill for alimony. Take a good look. Documents? The medical report. Huh? You'll know it when you see it. See you later. Mila, I wondered what the diagnosis was, but am I infertile? Yes. I didn't know. I mean, why did you hide it from me until now? I wasn't hiding anything. What? You don't remember? We had a checkup before we got married, just in case. Oh. And we got the results in the mail. You didn't even bother to look at them. No, because I didn't think there was anything wrong with me. I thought infertility was usually a woman's problem. I'm sorry, I'm perfectly fine. You are infertile. It sounds like you're infertile to the point where it's unlikely you'll ever have a child. Oh my god. I've told you repeatedly to check your test results. I thought it would be better for you to see for yourself. 
than for me to tell you. But you kept ignoring me. Well, then again, that the baby is... It can't be your child. No. Why did she lie? She asked me to marry her because she's having my baby. I don't know who the actual father is. Maybe you were convenient as a marriage partner. You are a scumbag as a human being, but you got a full-time job and a steady income. Damn. I believed her when she told me it was my child. Was she cheating on me with another guy? It seems so. Mila, let's not get a divorce after all. Excuse me? I'm going to start over with you. I'm just about to finish my work. I'll leave the unfaithful woman and go back to you. I'm going back to your place. No, thank you. What? Do you think I'll ever forgive you? Well... You cheated on me and tried to have a baby while you were away. Don't tell me you want to start over after all this time. What are you talking about? The baby wasn't mine. I already said I'm breaking up with her. You are the only one I love. I won't cheat on you anymore, so please forgive me. Do you think I don't know anything? Huh? You... there's still something you're hiding, isn't there? No, um... There were other people you were cheating on me with, weren't there? Well... You were dating Riley at the same time you were dating me. How did you know? I've known her since childhood. Childhood friend? I was surprised. She told me she had a boyfriend. She happily showed me a photo of her and her boyfriend together. Then it was you. Riley was also shocked. You were the first boyfriend she ever had. I can't believe you and Riley knew each other. We didn't have a wedding because we were both busy with work, and you didn't know she was my friend. But it's terrible. You had a fiancé and a girlfriend at the same time. Um... I hired a private detective to do a full-scale investigation. I was so surprised to see all the things you had done. And here we are. No way. I didn't know that was going on. So, goodbye. Wait, Mila. Let's meet up and figure it out. What are you talking about now? We're talking about the future. Now that you know I'm infertile, we have a lot of things to discuss, like adopting a child. You and I are getting a divorce. We don't have to talk about kids. But we're going to meet and talk anyway. I never want to see your face again. Please, I'll be home soon. Let's live together again, okay? You don't have a home to go back to. What? I have already moved out. I told you that, didn't I? I'm living somewhere else now. Oh no. Where am I supposed to go back then? I don't know. Well... I'll make sure you pay me alimony. Well then... <laughs> Mila? Mila, I have a favor to ask. What is it? It's about the alimony. I think it's too much. I'd like you to reduce it a little. What? Why? I was dating another woman. Are you still having an affair? She's actually married. Her husband found out. You must have a lot of time on your hands. How many people are you cheating with? It's not funny. Her husband is also demanding alimony from me. I have to pay you too. If I don't do anything, I'll have to borrow money. Then why don't you borrow money to pay for it? Mila, I beg you. Please reduce the alimony. No, I want you to pay in full. Is that all you wanted to say? Well... Please pay me exactly by the deadline. Well then... Mila, I'm in real trouble. My company found out about my affair. 
everyone at work is silently pressuring me to quit. I don't have a place to live. <coughs> hey, we used to love each other. Please help me out. <coughs> Mila. In the end, Max couldn't stand the cold stares from his colleagues and resigned. He became unemployed and had no place to live. So he asked his parents to help him. His parents would never forgive him for cheating with so many women, and they soon kicked him out of the family home. Max is in debt to pay the high alimony and now he lives in a shabby studio apartment. He is also working part-time from morning to night without a break. He seems to be having a miserable life. As for me, after my divorce, I went back to my parents' house. Recently, I rented a new apartment and started living alone. I am still good friends with my childhood friend Riley. We watch each other's backs so that we never fall for a scum like Max again. We hope we will find someone soon and be happy. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.